I'm feeling fantastic today. I had a little bit of a sleep in, of course. I'm a morning person, so a sleep in to me is like 7.30. <laughs> But that was really nice. Latham looked after the cats and the puppies this morning. And we have spent the entire day, it is almost four o'clock, we have spent the entire day outside tidying up out the back. And it is looking really nice. And I am just chuffed because all the hard work that we've put into it it just looks really nice. Now I'm going to show you a few things, but also I need to narrow down my gifts that I am making this Christmas. So I'm making some items for my kids and I need to find all the yarns, all the fabrics, and um, you know, ear earmark everything, just <laughs> lay it all out so I can see it clearly. And I need to talk to Charlotte about her birthday presents. I know she wants a sun hat, so I need her to choose fabrics for her sun hat. So I haven't taken that much footage at all today, and that's okay. Sometimes that's what happens. And um, we got stuff done, and I'm really happy. So I might, in fact, get quite a bit of footage done this afternoon. I actually need to do a fit test um, of my sweater. I tried it on last night, and then I continued knitting on it, but I just wanna make sure that the length that I have done is enough. I've actually run out of yarn on of the main color, and I have a skein waiting for me. So I need to let, um, I need to know that I need that skein. Yeah, but I'm really excited to be on the color work section of the bottom, but I'll show you that later. And you would have seen the last couple of days I have been winding balls. I'm going to Pammy's studio tomorrow, so I'm gonna see if I can use her ball winder. I have one more to do for this particular project, so maybe I can take this along. Um, I also have some other yarns that I need to wind up. And this is what is preventing me from starting these projects. So I need to get onto that. Um, I'm holding this um, brooch that I got in my advent this morning. It is so sweet. I also got this really lovely fabric. And I was thinking of doing something for Charlotte with, these, with this fabric. Um, so I'll have to have a think about that. So with the gifts that I make my kids each Christmas, I like to make them practical gifts, but I also might like to make them something sweet or um, generally like a toy um, or like, a, you know, a soft toy. And look, they're now 14, 12 and 10 and they still really enjoy getting these unique gifts from their mum. Um, I, you know, they don't play with them in any way, but I feel like these gifts that I give them are lovely gifts that they will cherish forever and ever. I'm just going to tidy up while I talk to you. <laughs> and yeah, so I do try and focus on more practical gifts. Can you hear that magpie out there, that baby magpie? Every single day we have those magpies squealing to their parents, feed me, feed me. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I do like to make practical gifts. My kids have been wanting some finger, fingerless mitts for a while, and I've got a few colorwork patterns. I'm kind of really interested to see if I can get them done. Now, I am a fast knitter, but it is a busy time of year here, being, you know, summer. Um, and unless I like stay up really late, which, you know, I like my sleep and I don't like to stay up too late, but I do plan on putting some hours into um, making this year. I really want to make and finish these wonderful gifts, but I don't want to be doing it too much uh, during the daytime, um, just because I want to be utilizing the light. Um, and I also find that I need to move. I'm, <laughs> I'm need to move my body. I can't sit still. Um, 
unless I have done some physical exercise. So my plan is to try and garden a bit in the morning and then do some knitting and sewing in the afternoon. Um, and we shall see how that goes. <laughs> I sold this. <laughs> so I need to package this up now. They are very popular. I've got another one that I've almost finished making. So here's one. Almost finished making it. Um, so I will pop another one up in my shop. Um, but they are popular, those mushroom pocket belts. I'm going to get cracking on tidying up and putting some things away and then I'm going to get out the yarns and figure out what I'm making. I've gone through my yarns and I found all sorts of bits and pieces so I'm just going to show you the main projects that I want to work on for my kids for Christmas so <laughs> I am really hoping that I'm going to be able to achieve this we shall see Latham's out there cutting more grass and I have Samuel and Hazel making dinner um, they are all such good eggs I love my family so much okay so I haven't decided which um, toy is for which child, but as I'm making them, um, I will probably come to the conclusion um, of whose is whose. Um, but there's, oh, this, this is not going to work in this direction. Let's go this way. Okay, so there's Sadie. So I will write the pattern and the designer on the screen. These are all by the same designer. Um, so this one, I believe I have a cotton, that's the Thermomix, Hazel's making a smoothie that she wants to put into ice cream, um, icy pole uh, moulds, um, to make icy poles. Um, so that's Hazel making that noise right now. Um, so I need a grey. I need a grey for this mouse and I've got some pink so I can use the pink for the the nose and the feet and the hands yeah so I have a grey in a cotton yarn but I kind of want to stick with wool um, so I'll have a think about that there's Molly okay my face is clearly So she's really cute. I've actually knitted one of the little handbags before. Um, I should prop so that for those two, I have um, I have brown yarn here for for her, and then there is Jody the turtle. So incredibly cute, um, and I have this green. I also have this green too, which is more the colour of the pattern. I'm getting closer to it anyway. Uh, this is what I'm making my dress out of. And I believe I will have plenty left over because I have three whole... Yeah, I have three whole ones left of that. So I definitely could make this toy with... Um, with that green. So I have loads and loads of small bits of yarn that I want to use to make all the clothing. I also have this, a lot of this colour. I could do the mouse in this colour, I guess. What have I got? I've got quite a bit. There's actually two different colours here. Actually, I think this is a DK. Hmm. Um, I've also got this brown as well. Um... Yeah, so I have to think, have to think about the mouse. But I have all these colours that I can use to make clothing. I also would like to make some decorations for the kids. So I'd like to make these mushrooms. So I'll just add a little um, yarn at the top to um, 
make it so you can hang it on the Christmas tree. I always make my kids at least one decoration, one Christmas decoration each year. So, um, and I plan to make some decorations for other people as well. I want to do a bit of sewing for the kids, so I want to definitely make them another sun hat each. I have to make Charlotte her sun hat for Christmas, for her birthday, which is on the 11th of December. Um, she's chosen the fabrics. So these are the fabrics that she wants for her sun hat. So they'll be lovely. Um, I did want to make some fingerless mitts for each of my kids, uh, but I think I'm going to leave that as a winter solstice gift um, to my kids. So I will begin knitting those in the new year in time for winter. I have a whole bunch of Christmas fabrics that I picked up at the D stash in Harcourt and um, I want to make some decorations with these. I also, you would have just seen before, but I've had these little mitts that I made. I knitted them up last Christmas and I have not finished them off. So I'm going to finish these off and put them on the tree. And you know, like they're so cute. They're so very, very cute. I think they have like a little, I have to have a look at the pattern again, but I think there's like, I'll do some little eyelets of white along the um, base. I'd like to knit some little more little mini sweaters. I have one on my tree and I've gifted some. I gift a lot of the decorations that I knit so I'd like to knit some to keep. That would be really nice. I have seen I love all the decorations that um, Mal who I follow on Instagram her account is um, one crafty mama I think or something like that or a crafty mama something like that um, I will put it on the screen and I'll put a link below um, but she does so many wonderful beautiful decorations oh, Hazel just interrupted me but for a good reason she made smoothie so this has our homegrown strawberries in it it's very nice. She's put some honey in there as well. Yum. And I think she's ground up nuts and seeds. Yum. What was I saying? I feel like I'm rambling on and on. Um, I'm going to go and try on my sweater. So you can have a look at that. And then I'm going to get to cooking dinner. And I'm going to sit down and cast on something. Like make something. I'm going to choose some colours here. I think I'm just going to start with a mushroom, a mushroom decoration for one of the kids. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to go and get dinner on. Um, I probably need to help lay them outside, so I'm going to be running around doing all those things. Um, and then I'm going to sit down and I'm going to cast on something. All right, see you.